located in Glen Rose, Texas, sits the Outlaw Station, as it has been called by the locals. This building was built sometime in the 1920s. The building was part of a Prohibition era. The owner at the time, Ed Young, built it to rival the local White Rock Roadhouse, which was next door. The White Rock Roadhouse was a roadhouse and also said to be a grocery store for a short time and then a residence. It's said that they illegally sold moonshine. The building finally was demolished around 2015 due to being unsafe. The Outlaw Station building was used as a distribution of moonshine. The place was a speakeasy at one point and dubbed the moonshine capital of Texas and has been even said by many people including a person who worked at the store that Bonnie and Clyde also ran moonshine out of the back of the store. If you don't know who Bonnie and Clyde are, they were an American outlaw couple who traveled the central United States with their gang during the Great Depression. They are known for bank robberies and of course selling moonshine. Like many that excelled in a lot of businesses during Prohibition, the outlaw station business slowly faded away not too long after the end of the era. There is not much else documented after the sale of this place, but it seems from what little I could gather, it turned into a legit gas station and a small grocery store sometime in the 50s and 60s. Then not too long after that, it shut its doors and has been sitting abandoned ever since. Taking one look at this place will get your imagination going and wondering how this place looked and operated back when it was open. The huge archways of the awning that stretched out from the front of the building and the petrified wood that quickly grabs your attention makes you think how many people came in and out of this building. How close to danger would you be in knowing what was being done here? Or did people not know what was going on? This beautiful building is made up of stone, brick, and petrified wood, which really makes this building unique. What stands out the most to you once you look at this place? You can tell that a lot of thought and care went into the design of this building. With very minimal graffiti, the colors of the brick still pop as it has been sitting abandoned for so long. The building is slowly being taken over by nature as you can see. Will this building be restored back to its former self or be demolished like the White Rock Roadhouse next door? The building and the land it sits on has just recently been put up for sale. If you have the money and a passion for a bit of history, this might be the property for you. Comment below and let me know if you had the chance, what would you do with this building? <laughs>